Welcome to the Wakem Universe, my self-created universe for fans of Marvel, DC, and so much more. My name is Wakem, and I'm here to share with you the top 7 most obscure easter eggs in the MCU. The MCU has evolved immensely since kicking off in 2008. From the very beginning, they had easter eggs which showed some small message, image, or detail from the comics to tease fans. People would rush out and watch the latest MCU film and then look up videos of any easter eggs they may have missed. There are usually a handful of easter eggs in each movie which is sometimes a nod to the comics or is a teaser for what's to come. I combed through hundreds of easter eggs and found what I believe to be the top 7 most obscure ones. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video for what I think is the most obscure and craziest easter egg of all. Let's get to it. It makes sense for me to start off with an easter egg from the MCU's first movie, Iron Man. If you're one of the fortunate ones to see Iron Man in theaters when it first came out, then you saw this easter egg, but in the home release of this film, it was removed. At the end of the movie, Tony Stark is holding a newspaper, captioned, Who is the Iron Man? with a rather crude photo of our hero on the front page. While you probably didn't give this photo a second look, it was actually a spy photo that was taken by an amateur photographer during the movie's filming and was leaked online. So even though Marvel Studios threatened legal action against the website who leaked it, they ended up including the image in the movie. The reason why Marvel ended up changing it was that the photographer who took the photo then filed a lawsuit against Paramount for using his image without his permission. It was a lawsuit fiasco which led to Marvel changing the image in the home release. It was a big old party of lawsuits over a seemingly dumb photo and certainly an obscure easter egg. Let me know in the comments if you were one of the OG Marvel fans and saw this easter egg in theaters. Let's go to the Avengers movie for our next obscure easter egg. I admit, this next one was discovered by many fans of Thor, but it was still worthy of making the list. Thor's father, the king of Asgard, Odin, has two ravens, Hugin and Munin, who he sends out to the Nine Realms to be his eyes and ears for what's happening in his realm and beyond. They played a huge role in the comics, where they warned Odin about Ragnarok. In the Avengers movie, after Loki is apprehended by Iron Man and Captain America, Thor rips him out of the helicarrier and throws him to the ground. As Thor is landing, two ravens can be briefly seen in the corner of the screen, which implies Odin was keeping tabs on his son from afar. It's a brief snippet that may be hard to see in the night sky, but the ravens are present, which means the King of Asgard is there too. Black Panther was the first MCU film to star a black superhero as the lead. As a whole, the movie was celebrated for its blackness, as well as its strong African influence and even the smallest details. One of those small details was during the casino scene. Now there's a lot going on in this scene, including an amazing fight sequence, but there's also some symbolism which some people may not have seen immediately. When our three main protagonists walked into the casino undercover, they were dressed in the colors of the Pan-African flag. The flag has three stripes which include green, black, and red, which match the color scheme of our main characters. It's a very well hidden easter egg with a powerful symbol which may have gone largely unnoticed by fans but once you see it, you can't unsee it. In comics, there are many different renditions of characters. There are infinite universes where characters can be infinitely different. This next easter egg takes us to Disney Plus's Loki where we get to see Thor in episode 5 but he's looking very different than we'd seen him before. Of course I'm talking about Throg, which is the frog version of the mighty Thor. In this episode, we see Throg in a glass bottle trying to get to his hammer, but he can't escape the bottle he's in. Throg's existence has been alluded to in Thor Ragnarok, but the show Loki was the first time they actually debuted Throg on the screen. For those of you who don't know, Throg was once a man, turned into a frog by a witch, and later given the hammer of Thor to fight for justice as Throg. Most easter eggs are hidden, which is why many of them go unnoticed. Here the MCU is blatantly showing Throg, which is awesome, but there is still something hidden that you probably didn't know. Throg was voiced by none other than Chris Hemsworth himself. That's right, the MCU's real Thor voiced Throg in this episode which makes this easter egg even sweeter. It was cool for fans to see Throg make his MCU debut and rumor has it that he will be coming back in the next Thor movie, Love and Thunder. Our next obscure easter egg takes us back to the first Iron Man movie and has to do with Tony Stark wanting a cheeseburger after being held captive by a group of terrorists. After he was rescued and brought back home, he had two requests, a press conference and an American cheeseburger. He was then seen later on eating a Burger King cheeseburger before his big press conference. While this may have gotten a chuckle out of the audience, it was on par with Tony's character with him wanting some comfort food, a cheeseburger had a much bigger meaning to Robert Downey Jr. And in case you are wondering, it wasn't just product placement either. Robert Downey Jr. actually credits Burger King with saving his life. It is relatively well known that Downey struggled with drug addiction throughout his life. 
In one of his downward spirals, he drove to a Burger King with a trunk full of drugs and ordered a burger. He said it was the grossest burger he'd ever had, and it led to him reflecting on his life and asking himself what he was doing with his life. He then took his stash and threw them into the ocean. The scene of him munching on a burger from Burger King was inspired by Downey's story. Like Downey, Tony had a Burger King burger before his press conference where he planned on turning his life around, starting with ceasing all weapon development at Stark Industries. This cheeseburger scene was also alluded to at the end of Avengers Endgame when Happy, the director of the Iron Man movie, tells Tony's daughter that her dad liked cheeseburgers too. Speaking of Avengers Endgame, that's where our next obscure easter egg takes place. For those of you who stuck around for the very end of the end credits, you didn't see much of anything, but you did hear something. Here's the clip. When I first saw this movie in theaters, everyone looked around at one another, wondering what the sound was. Well, this was a callback to the MCU's very first film, Iron Man. When Tony had been taken captive and created the first version of the Iron Man suit to escape, there was a scene of him using a hammer to make the armor. The audio from this scene was what was being played after the end credits scene in Avengers Endgame. It was the film's clever way of playing homage to the movie that started it all. The final obscure easter egg is my personal favorite and it has to do with Thanos. In Avengers Endgame, Thanos wields a mighty double sword throughout the movie. It's an impressive weapon and one of the most powerful ones we've ever seen in the MCU. We don't know for sure where it originated from, but if we take a look back at the comics, you'd be surprised where this weapon idea came from. The weapon was based off the rotor blades from the Thanos copter. Yes, you heard me right. The Thanos Copter. In 1979, there was a comic book issue where Spider-Man fought Thanos for the Cosmic Cube in his very own helicopter. In the comic, Thanos tries to steal the Cosmic Cube and then flies off in a bright yellow helicopter with his name plastered on the side of it. It's a ridiculous storyline, but even more ridiculous, Thanos Copter sort of made its way into Avengers Endgame. However, that wasn't it for the Thanos Copter. It made its full debut in the Disney Plus series Loki in Episode 5, when Loki was banished to the Void. It wasn't at all necessary for the story, but I'll be forever happy the Thanos Copter made its way into the MCU. It's easily the most obscure and random easter egg in the MCU, and will be hard to top in future MCU projects. I had a great time diving into the MCU and picking out the most obscure easter eggs I could find. If I missed any good ones, be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video and are interested in seeing more videos like this, then please hit that like button and subscribe. The more support I get, the more content I can create and gear towards you guys. I want this channel to continue to grow and create an amazing online community with similar interests, but I can't do that without your help. So please consider subscribing and comment if there's something specific you'd like me to cover. I hope to see you all in the Wakem universe again soon. Peace.